Hey Nitin, good evening. Uh, how are you doing, Nitin? Hi Pradeep sir. Good evening. Everything is fine. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you, Nitin, and thanks for accepting to uh, discuss your profile, your learning journey, and your career enhancement after doing the IVS Data Science program. Uh, thanks for doing it. It will be a great inspiration for all our current students and future students. Uh, we are trying to follow the same path as you, Nitin. So, just to set a context for everybody, Nitin uh, comes with an engineering background, like many of our students. Uh, however, he was in a different kind of a profile. Then, you know, as a working professional, decided to do the program on uh, on the part time basis on the weekends. And uh, so, we'll see how Nitin uh, used this program, used Ivy's uh, data science platform to enhance his career and what he's doing right now, and some of the tips. That he would give, especially uh, for people who are working uh, somewhere and then doing IV's data science program or thinking of doing IV's data science program and what kind of learning strategies he followed. So, Nitin, uh, starting with uh, your profile, right? Uh, what kind of profile you had uh, before you did the uh, program, and which is the program that you you did with IV? Yeah. So, well, thank you so much. And I completed my engineering in 2017. The first few years, I worked in an automobile sector. Okay. That's when I started thinking about a career change. Then, from one of my friends, I came to know about IV and the programs IV is offering. I did. I chose data science with visualization program. So, as a part of this, I completed Tableau, Power BI, Excel, SQL, R, Python, and now I moved into analytics. And primarily, I work on Power BI. Once okay. in a while, Excel. Also, I work on Microsoft Power Platform. Good. So, Nitin, uh, you said that you chose IV on the basis of somebody's referral. Uh, who who was it? I mean, he he or she was your friend, your colleague. Yeah. In our organization, we had a public speaking club. You might be heard of Toastmasters International. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I was very active in that club, and the senior name was Tejas. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He completed data science course, and then after that, he moved into business analytics. Okay. When that's the same path I was trying to follow. So that was the time was I was extensively researching about which institute to join. Okay. Then I came to know about IV. I saw a couple of videos in YouTube, the sessions taken by you and Ishanima. Also, I attended two demo classes. A few okay. things I found which is different from the other institute world. There was an APS batch <laughs> you were taking. Also, there was a CB CV building session. Right. Also, personally, Pradeep, Pradeep sir and even Ishanima is very experienced in this field so i know this institute will be good for me then i choose even the fee was relatively lesser than the other institute were of offering so in many ways i found iv is a good place to join all right good thank you thanks a lot uh, and you said that specifically you like that module analytical problem solving or structured thinking workshop that uh, is the mandatory module in our courses irrespective of which course you take and it's one of my favorite module, although not a lot of people give importance to that after joining because they think there is no Python in it, there's no SQL in it. But it's a great, uh, I mean, I believe that is a great content, uh, you know, to know, especially because we talk about different problem solving techniques uh, and how do we prepare for those problem solving techniques and which are very helpful from an interview perspective, I suppose. Good, good, good. At least uh, there's somebody who gives importance to that particular module. Very nice. Um, so, which year was it when you joined Nitin? August 2021, sir. Okay. Yeah. And you took how many months to finish the program? It took me almost nine to ten months. Nine. If you are a student, maybe you can complete the course in six months. But for working professional, I have seen people taking maybe nine months to twelve months for finishing the program. So tell me, uh, what was the learning strategy that you followed? Because you were working professionally, you had a full-time job. A lot of our students are also working professional. And how did you manage your time? Yes. So when I was joining the course, I had zero understanding about analytics. So I started by learning Excel. One thing I was doing was every day, one hour in office, whether I'm no matter how occupied I am, every day I will spend one hour in office for learning Excel. Th okay. That I did for almost one year and I reached a stage where now I'm capable of taking trainings in my organization. So whenever there is a situation, I take Excel training from within my organization also. So this happened in this one year. All other modules, whether it's SQL or Python, this require more time. Right. So when weekend, whenever I get chance, I used to attend live classes. And no matter what, if we cover two modules, two classes in Saturday, Sunday, I wanted to finish that before the next class. That was the strategy. So if I keep it, 
then the content will piled up it will be difficult to catch up so finishing the week's work on that week including the assignment that was the strategy ah okay so you followed a very good approach that i you know we keep recommending our students that whatever assignments cases that are due within that week you should try and finish that uh, within that particular week itself and i also like that thing that you mentioned that you know you're consistent about devoting certain amount of time every day that also yeah. is a very very uh, important learning strategy to follow when you want to learn something as new as uh, data science uh, one more question for you on an average how many hours did you dedicate to the program every week timing it varies on a working day normally 2 to 3 hour okay. but on weekend if i if you completed one sql class no matter what i will complete the recording for example imagine the video is 2 hour long we can't finish watching the video in 2 hours because we have to right. practice then right. again we have to do the assignment it might take maybe 4 or 5 hours also okay. my only thing on weekend was if there is one python batch or one sql batch going i will completely watch the video and whatever the related assignment and practice i will do that so i was not perfect. too strict on timing okay perfect very good very good so you followed a strategy that you wanted to finish the assignments within the same week yes. right attending the class then revising it through recording uh, so you did that very good nitin and it takes a lot of sincere effort especially when you are working professional so that that's a great thing um i want to understand you i remember that you got some job offers to some good companies when you were while you were doing the program uh i think you were accepted in one of the uh, program so why don't you talk about that also yes i was not so keen on switching my job but again genpact came with a good offer i thought why not i will just attend the interview and see how it goes i okay. attended the interview it was for a tableau developer role okay. cleared the interview and okay. everything went well then i decided to continue on my organization that time my organization gave offered me another internal movement which was instead of tableau it was a power bi role i felt why not continue in my organization and i decided to, to. very good very good very good so you you chose uh, internal job posting uh, and you enhanced your career internally and yes. um, uh, what i understand now is that you are part of the data analytics as a reporting team uh, within your organization right yes sir very good very good so uh, tell me i know you mentioned to me a couple of times that uh, one of the very important things that you gave importance to was some of the internship projects that we do as part of the program right so yes. which internship project that you did and which was really helpful to you yeah i did ibis advanced excel internship in that okay. we were given a data set and we have to cook up a story for example the job data set given to me was about new york job recruitment and we okay. when i say cook up the story we have to think who is the stakeholder and what are the metrics these stakeholders will be interested in at each each stage we were evaluated and towards then we have to create a dashboard and present it and you can see one green screen behind me when i bought this screen just for recording video for that session ah, yeah very yeah. nice very that, nice there is another story related to this so i did this internship program and after that when this internal job posting was offered they gave me a data set my new team gave me a data set asked me to create an excel dashboard and they also asked me to create insight from it now i already did, did the same job in our internship it was a cake walk for me i was able to do this with in no time they gave me one week time for completing the project but i managed to finish it in almost 4 to 5 days and they were really happy and impressed and my internship internal movement move happened without too much hassle excellent excellent so excellent so you you really took that project very sincerely and as part of the project we ask everybody to create a short video as well and yes. for that you bought that green screen yeah okay very yes. good so the background looks nice okay good good very good very nice um yeah i mean uh, those projects are extremely useful resources so all those internship projects that we do on different modules periodically are, ex- are extremely important because most of the projects and the data sets that we use there are all Uh, live data sets uh, as you mentioned um, even in just yeah. to add to that even in one of my manager asked me to create an excel dashboard in just 2 to 3 hours they had some emergency it was from another department but the right. template everything was ready with me all i had to do was just copy paste the data and make few modifications so i managed to do that so we don't know when things will come back but if you put in the sincere effort it will come back in one way or other so nitin if i were to ask you 
what are you know i mean because in in the program you know there are many set of people there are people from various different backgrounds they have different constraints you are a working professional you were in engineering core services before so what if if you have to give you know three important tips to these people who are currently doing the program or think of doing the program so what kind of tips would you give to them as a overall you know tips if i were to ask you to be successful in the program okay if you already joined the program anyway you already step your foot in the ocean so just try to swim maybe sometimes you will drown then there are teachers to help you and they will lift you up so don't worry about that but if you are someone who is thinking about whether to join a data science program first you should understand what exactly you are stepping your feet into it is a vast domain continuously studying all those things is a requirement that's not an optional thing so be ready and if you are someone who don't really enjoy studying or if you are someone who just like sitting lazy on a weekend then analytics may not be a right domain for you but if you already decided to go for analytics it's a very exciting field if you invest the time the only substitute for hard work is hard hard work work also we have a good team to support and also our peer group is very energetic even some of the students and the kind of ideas the energy they bring into the table it's wonderful even some of the batchmates are very experienced also so we have a good amalgam of people from different domain make use of everything and if you put in 6 to 6 months to 1 year of dedicated time and effort i'm sure the transition or the growth will happen very good tip here uh, nitin you said a uh, couple of points just taking from your uh, uh, you know tips here one you said that is it requires effort and you know data science there are so many things to learn so it does require a sincere effort you can't just think that you know it will be a easy smooth boat you know there'll be ups and downs but you have to be sincere ab- about it and you have to be at it and you have to keep improving a little bit every day yes. second thing you mentioned that uh, it's going to be exciting as long as you enjoy you will have a great time and as long as you give a sincere effort to 6 to 7 6 months to 1 year as you mentioned you will get a result so this is this is the only mantra that works i want to also ask you one more question nitin okay. um what is the role of projects and how do you use it in your in your resume or in your linkedin profile did it give you any boost yes even the internship project i did i shared it everywhere it was mentioned in my resume i posted it in linkedin and every time i got good feedback even after the genpact interview the interviewer personally messaged me telling about the good things i did so the way you i remember you telling a good product poorly marketed is not a good product but yeah. even an average product if you market it well it will be it will get sold so i believe in that so even sometimes you may not be able to create a project from scratch so we have n number of projects we do as a part of every module so we can use that in our profile also it will give you more confidence and when you are planning to build something from scratch this project will act as an example so you can just look into that and enhance and make a better project out of it very good tip here very nice thank you so uh very very good thank you nitin um as one of the last questions uh, nitin for you uh if you were to give one small one important uh tip to any young data science aspirant or data analytics aspirant what would be that okay even from the discussions we had till now i will just summarize few of the point one the changes in the market is so abrupt so to catch up and to be relevant in the field studying that's the one and only option even i mentioned to you about i work on power platform when we never heard of power platforms like two years before right but now even the power automate sharp and all those things are extensively used in companies so the changes will happen and you have to catch up with that also if you are a beginner if you are someone who is trying to transition to the field if you have good understanding in excel sql and one visualization tool maybe that will be enough for getting the first job then if you spend more time on learning the other tool of course that will help also quoting the same example from the genpack the interview was for 30 minutes in the last 5 minute the interview asked me about the club i was part of so if you have some kind of passion or something which will help you to stand out that's always good the club so that those pastor club uh, yes very yes. good yeah he he explained me he asked me about what are the things happening in the club we spoke about that for maybe more 5 to 10 minute about that so the technical interview was maybe 15 to 20 minute and the, this ha- conversation happened for 5 to 10 minutes so if something is there you have which you can project or you can stand out from the crowd that's always great 
also building the connection whether it's cre creating project sharing it and showing the project to the world that's one of the most important thing that is extremely important for landing your job or even to progress in your job so these are the advices just summarize always study then as a beginner excel sql visualization tool soft skills are very important and then the connections matters the most perfectly put nitin and uh, i must tell you you're very good in summarizing nitin so if there is a trainer need i will definitely reach out to you nitin thank you sir. thank you nitin thanks for joining in today and so one last point i want yeah, to say sure, is, sure, yeah. please, yeah. please even after very recently i mentioned you about taking the excel training so this is the first time i'm taking an in person training i took trainings before in teams and even i asked ishani ma'am how it can be made better she gave me a set of instructions how the training can be better and friday i got the feedback from all the trainees and the feedback were really positive so this is what we are building a good community if you did the course no matter how long it was there are people to help so whenever you have some challenge whenever you feel somebody's help is required the people will come back and help you so it's a good place i really enjoyed the conversation and i'm really grateful for everything i learned through i thank you nitin thank you you are really you you use the ivy's uh, data science platform the entire community that we provide to all the students very well and nitin uh, i must tell you that you were very sincere you were very honest towards preparation you never took it as a and as an easy thing you put your sincere effort towards it and you were smart in marketing your profile uh, that is also a very very important thing as you very rightly said i keep telling my learners as well that if you build a good marketing strategy around your skills that uh, you know what that ha also helps you to do is that even if you're not that great in some of the modules you would still be able to progress and enhance your career and meet your career goals uh, if you're able to market it well thanks a lot nitin and thank you for sharing all your tips strategies and all the best for your future endeavors and i'm sure your appraisals are coming and uh, i must uh, uh, you know must wish the best for you and i'm sure you will do great uh, at it thank you nitin thank thank you so much bye